Hey, hi, hello everyone. Welcome back to the tutelage.com. And today we will go ahead and we will learn about PHP and build functions. So guys, if you need any kind of a help with PHP and build functions, you can go to this particular site that is php.net. And out here you can get the list of the PHP functions that they already have for you. And today we will cover about the date function and I will show you how it is uh, like how it's really easy to use that particular date function. So just go ahead and create a new file and name it to date.php and open it with your text editor whichever you have and out here I will open the basic markup in order to start any PHP page that would be this particular PHP opening tag and a closing tag. Guys uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say echo which is, you know just a normal way to echo anything then I'm going to say date. This date is a PHP function. Okay. We haven't wrote anything called date. This is already been written for us by the PHP. And in order to write any function or, or I would say in order to call any function, we will have to use these two uh, parentheses. So I have to uh, say the name of the function with the parentheses. Okay. Inside that parentheses, we can pass the parameters we want. So out here, we can only pass one parameter and that parameter needs to be inside these double codes. So what I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say Y. Y would be for year, M would be for month, and D would be for day, okay? So just come out here, I'm gonna say day six slash day dot PHP. Here it uh, till the current day. So see guys how easy it is, you know, what we are doing out here, we are just calling a function that has already been written for us by PHP and we are, uh, you know, passing the parameters that are required in order to say any date. Then you can also add H I S to echo the current time. So if I'll come, it says 11, 17, 26, according to the UTC time. So guys, how you will make sure that the time you are getting is the correct time or not. Uh, PHP will only pull up the time which uh, you know is installed in the server. PHP will never pull up the browser's time. So let's say you know you are sitting in one country and you are running this particular function and if someone else is accessing your page from a different country they will not see their time. They will see your time. Because PHP cannot pull any user's time they can pull up the time of the server, the place where this PHP is installed. So for me, it is, it is installed to my local server. If I'll go to uh, my WAMP, I will click on it. I will go to PHP. Then I will open this particular file that says php.ini. And uh, I will search for date function. Okay, this one. So it says date that time zone. Where is that? One second, guys. Mm, let me say up. Okay, this particular one. So here it says date dot time zone is equal to UTC. So this is the current time my PHP is following right now. So if I will change it to a different time zone, the PHP will start following that time zone. But uh, it's not a good practice to change your php.ini file because you are actually changing your core settings. And uh, being a good developer, I would suggest you never do that. Just close this particular file. I will tell you guys how to use different time zones within your PHP file itself. PHP have a very handy function where you can use, you know, date, set, default, time. You can use that function. I will show you how to use it. Okay, we will go to Google and I'm going to say PHP default time zone. Okay, not parameter. It would be default time zone. And this is the particular function that will let you to set time zone to whatever you guys want. So just copy it down from here and paste it out here. So I'm saying date default time zone set. This is again a function, so we will have to use the parentheses and a semicolon to end our statement. Now inside the parentheses, we can pass different parameters. 
So what those parameters are is really something important to know. So again, I told you guys this particular website is really, really uh, useful. So you can go to this particular page, that's php.net timezones.php file. Here are the different uh, tables, or I would say different links, where you can choose for the time. So I'm going to hit the Europe one, and it tell me the time zone. So let's say Europe and London. I'm going to copy this one down. I'm going to, uh, you know, enter some single codes. Inside the single codes, I'm going to paste this Europe London. If I'll come back. I'll refresh it, it will give me the different time, that will be the time in London right now. So if I will take for something else, oh, do we have France out here? Okay, let's, let's go to America, that's fine, right? So in America, we will go to which one? Let's say Indiana. We are going to try the Indiana uh, Petersburg, paste it out here, come back, we will see a different time. So from here we can actually uh, change the default time zone. No need to do it in, into your php.ine file if you guys want, you can do it, but I, I would recommend try using this particular statement that's uh, uh, something a good, a, a good practice I would say. So guys, again, these are the PHP inbuilt function, and the PHP have a list of fun functions like this. You know, if you want to catch someone's IP address, you can do that with a single line. You can use their function. You can read about them on their site. That is php.net. There, there is a list of the function. If you guys want to understand anything, please go ahead and uh, leave some comments. I'm going to help you out. Otherwise, I will cover the main functions with you in the later videos. Till that time, goodbye.